Hi there, this is Will from the Multilet Cash Flow System. Um, I'm just going to make this short video today. It's going to be under 15 minutes and I'm going to talk you through the whole process from start to finish of how our property management software works and what it can do for you. Um, just to give you an idea, this software we've been using for the last couple of years and we've continuously upgraded it to the stage we've got now, which I feel is just excellent and it fully controls all our, all our tenancies, all our tenant application forms, any maintenance issues going on in the house um, and anything to do with our properties in, in all honesty. And so what I'm going to do today is talk you through the tenant application forms. So we used to do our tenant application forms where we used to print them off, hand them to the tenant, they'd fill them out, scan them in, send them back to us. Then they'd just sit on the computer. Now we've got it so that they're all done digitally online and you can do the same with this software so that they fill their tenant application form either in a form or on your website. They submit it and then we use that information through the whole process so that we're not having to repeat jobs over and over again. Um, I'm going to talk you through the tenant application, uh, the, the whole tenancy. So we've got all our tenancies are done digitally through this system as well. So we're not having to use a separate system. It's all done within Podio, and then the second that we both sign it, it's all saved within here within the tenant profile. I'll talk you through how we deal with all our maintenance issues on here, um, and how we just keep all information about what's going on in the properties in one place. So the first thing I'm going to talk you through is our tenant application form. And I just find this is so simple, but just fantastic. And so this is what tenant application forms look like when they come up. It's like a box with um, the key details about each tenant. But obviously, it depend, uh, you will submit your own information and the tenants will put all their own details in. Um, but what we do is we create a web form on here. So you can see here it's a web form and we've all we've pre-done this for you. So when you set up your account, you'll have all of this set up. This is what we've put all the time and work into. And you can fully edit your tenant application forms here and decide what you want on there, what you don't want on there, what you want to show and what you don't. And uh, once you've completed it, you can either use the Podio web form here or you can embed it on your website. We embed them on our website. But just to give you an idea, it's something like this. And the tenant, once they've applied for a room, they submit all their information on here, um, including previous um, addresses, their employer, their next of kin, their passport photos, every detail you want to reference them, you put in here. They click Submit. And I did it beforehand just to save a bit of time. And then it comes up with a page like this. So before you send the, their um, application off for referencing, it's probably quite good to have a quick look through and just check that they meet your general um, sort of criteria. But you've got their current address, all their previous details. Um, and then we've put something at the bottom, which is just fantastic. What you can do here is rather than having to write an email, extracting the email address out of here of their employer and landlord and sending all the details off to them, um, manually all you need to do is click send to employer and send to landlord and it will send an automatic reference to them extracting all the information out of here and um, sending it to the employer and landlord from your email address and uh, it's done with the click of a button so I'll show you I've put my own email address in as the tenant and the la as the employer and landlord just so you can see what it looks like but the employer would receive something like this, employment reference check, and then the tenant's name. Dear, blah de blah a reference request for John Wright. Please could you answer the following questions. Please note the applicant cannot move into their own property until we have received a response from you. So it's all automatically done. And it's the same with the landlord. So it says, dear landlord, re-reference request for this person. Have they paid on time? Have they been a good tenant? And all of that. So it's done literally with a click of a button, which I just think is amazing. Um, if you want to put your own emails in here, you can. We can just help you with that and show you how to do it. It's really simple. So that's how you get your reference checks done with the click of a button. And then what, let's say the references have come back and you're happy with them. It will be on waiting to start with. And if you click accepted, then it automatically creates a tenant profile for that tenant. So if I just go back out, and we'll go into our tenant profile. So they've passed our referencing and we're happy to go ahead. We'd go into the tenant profile and you 
got their profile here. So the names that it's extracted all the important information out. So it's John Wright as the tenant. That's their email address. I've put my own in because I'm going to show you how we do automatic tenancies afterwards. Then we click on the property. So we're, he's going to move into 148 Smith Road. I'll show you later on how we put all that information in. The contract start date. Let's say they're moving into six months for their initial term. Um, this is their landlord, just a made up landlord. And it's going to be signed by ourselves and the tenant. So it extracts the tenant's information from up here. Then in DPS, they want to know what clauses this covers in the contract. So the deposit covers clauses 1.1 through to 7.8. Let's just say that. Um, and yours might be different, so you can uh, put, put whatever you want in there. And then what we can do, if we want to uh, reference, uh, send uh, the tenant his AST, deposit protection um, information, and everything to be signed, we literally click send for signature here. So I've set myself up as the tenant and also as the um, agent just to show you what it looks like when they come through. So I'm just going to spend a minute now to show you through the whole tenancy signature process. So when you've clicked the send for signature button on here, what will happen first is it will send you the documents to sign first because you want to check through the documents to check they're all correct and present. So it sends you an email saying, hello, your local lets, and we'd like you to sign the following documents. So you click on there, and it's ex extracted all the information out of the tenant application form and the tenant profile and also the property information so that everything's already filled in. So you've got the 31st of Jan is the start date, the address, room number, um, the amount the rent is, um, all the way through to the deposit amount, the rent, the rental amount, um, all the way through. This is all your tenant, uh, tenancy AST. And then it asks you to sign in certain places. So it's asking the landlord to sign here. So let's just squiggle there. And then you also put today's date in, the date you're signing it. And then it's got all the deposit protection service information, including the amount, the tenant's name up here, their previous address, their new address, every piece of information you may need about the house um, and about the tenant is all already inputted in. It's got your clauses in here that it covers in the contract and then it's automatically put my signature here from the previous one. You can put today's date in again. Then it goes through all the deposit protection service terms and conditions. Now if you've got your own documents that you want to put in, you might use my deposits or anything like that. Set up an account anyway, drop me an email and we'll be able to sort that out for you. It goes through all the tenant's guide and every document you've legally got to give the tenant. The how to rent guide in case they haven't got it already, we've got to send that through to them. And then the final document is a document for them to sign to say that they've received um, the deposit protection service, the how to rent guide, the AST, the energy performance certificate and the gas certificate which may be on the board and then they sign these afterwards. So I'll click Submit Signature, and then it automatically sends it off to the tenant to sign. So what I'll do now is I'll move on to the tenant signature and show you what happens afterwards. So after the landlord signed the document, or, or yourself if you're acting as an agent, it then sends the document straight to the tenant. So hello, John Wright, who's our tenant. Please can you sign the following documents? You click on here to sign them and then they go through the same process so they've got all the information um, and then you can click down here to the signature so they will sign here and they will date it as you did and the same again here they will date here it take once you've signed it once it takes your signature and puts it in all the relevant places you just have to go through put the dates in and submit the signature so both the landlord and the tenant have signed the um, all the ASTs, all the documents now. And so what it does is it sends uh, an attached copy to both the landlord and the tenant, or yourself if you're an agent. When I refer to the landlord, I mean the agent, or if you're a landlord and you're looking after your own properties, then your own. It then submits all of those. 
So now that the landlord and the tenant have both signed the document, you obviously want it saved somewhere. So it does email it to yourself and does email it to the tenant. But also, if you go into your tenant profile, so this John Wright's profile, it automatically saves it within his profile as well. So you've got the document saved at the bottom here and to the right. Um, so you can click on there and at any point you can look through all their signed documents of their tenant application, um, of their um, tenancy agreement. So it's been signed by both people, dated, and you've got all of it saved in the system. So what you can see here is what we've done is they've filled their tenant application form online. You've automatically got the references just being sent out with the click of a button. You've then created a tenancy for them with the click of a button and then you just fill in a couple of details um, that are important to the tenancy and it sends out all their tenancy documents to be signed digitally all within one system. So you can tell why we're quite excited by this because it's just completely transformed the way we've run our business. And um, for the you know small monthly cost that we charge for this, we were paying about £100 a month on Inc. And we've now got down to the stage where um, it's all being done on here. Our ink bill's down to about £10 a month, um, which is just a no-brainer in itself. Um, one other feature I just want to show you on this quick intro video is the maintenance side of things, because I know a lot of people, they find that it's a bit agonising, and we have this at first when you've got tenants emailing you some maintenance issues, texting you some maintenance issues, phoning you, telling you in person, and they're not stored all in one place. So what we've done here is um, we've created a maintenance profile where you can actually act upon all maintenance issues and send them off to the right place, as well as your tenants submitting them all online. So, again, we've got a web form like we did before. So we've got a web form here which goes on our website. And all it is, it says report a maintenance issue, the property address, the maintenance issue, and any images. So when they submit this, we get a notification on our phones because there's an app with Podio as well, so you can do 90% of the stuff on your phone. And it will submit it to here. So if we just update our maintenance app a second, it comes up with the issue here. So it says leaky guttering. We can put a bit more of a description in there. We can then say which status is it in, so whether the landlord's given the approval or the repairs in progress, the urgency of how soon it needs to be fixed, so with a leaky, leaky gutter I'd say soon, not immediately, whose responsibility it is, who's sorting it out, so which of your team members is sorting it out, and when something needs to be done by, so you can put instructions down the right hand side here of when things need to be done by, so let's say we need a week's time, and then what you can do, if your maintenance team use Podio, fantastic, you can add them into this space so they can do it. But if they don't, because I know a lot of them just like to stick to emails, what you can do up here is you can share it and you can email this one maintenance issue to anyone and they can deal with the issue. You can say, look, we're going to start sending you emails in this format and they can also update when they've dealt with the situation. So whether they've been to the property and fixed it, they can say that, um, that it's the repairs in progress or it's complete. And so what you have now is you've got one area where all your maintenance issues are being dealt with. And once they're complete, you can just filter them out. So you could say that um, all of the maintenance issues that have been completed, you don't want to see. So you can pick all the other ones. So when I click completed on here, let's say this maintenance issue has been done, and I go back to my maintenance call sheet, it's got none left because it's, it's out of the system. It's been dealt with. You can also create reports at the end of the year to give to your landlord to show all maintenance issues that have been dealt with that year. Um, and what we're doing here is we're just trying to keep one base where all maintenance issues, all tenancies, all tenant application forms, and any details to do with the property are all being dealt with in one place. And this is completely scalable, so it works when you've got one property and it works when you've got 100 properties. So I hope you like what we've gone through there. Um, once you have signed up, I've created some videos for you to look through all the different um, sort of areas of this, how it works, and so you can start running it yourself. So I hope you enjoy that and thanks for listening.